Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on cryptography and network security lab. So before going to the program, like and share the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for notifications on latest videos. So the aim of this program is to, uh, to write a Java program for performing encryption and decryption using Caesar cipher. Okay. So before going to uh, discuss about encryption and decryption, uh, let me show you a scenario uh, where there is no protection. So you will understand what is this protection uh, in a few minutes. So let's see the scenario. So there are two users, Alice and Bob, and they are communicating through internet by passing messages. Alice is sending messages to Bob and Bob is sending messages to Alice. And also there is a third person a third entity a third party an attacker. Okay, who is also connected to the internet and this attacker is reading the messages that are being communicated between Alice and Bob. Okay, so the attacker is secretly uh, reading or viewing the communication that is happening between Alice and Bob. So this scenario has no protection. So I think you understood why I have written there is no protection because the attacker is able to read the messages being communicated between Alice and Bob. So this represents there is no confidentiality. So confidentiality means preventing unauthorized access but here the attacker is able to read everything. So we can say that there is no confidentiality. So to provide confidentiality, what we can do is we can do this. Okay, so whenever Alice wants to send some message, that message is called plain text, normal text. Okay, it is given as input to uh, encryption algorithm, right? And this encryption algorithm will convert this plain text to ciphertext okay and that ciphertext or cipher message is sent through internet and through internet the ciphertext goes as input to decryption algorithm this decryption algorithm will be running on bob system and now this decryption algorithm will convert this ciphertext again back into plain text which is read by bob now the attacker can still uh, see the messages, but this time the attacker sees cipher text. The attacker will not see plain text. Okay, so here is some example. So let's assume Alice is sending hi to Bob. So this hi is uh, given as input to encryption algorithm, and let's assume that this uh, hi is converted into some random string xz. Okay. So this XJ goes to internet, uh, reaches Bob system, and in the Bob system, this XJ is again given as input to decryption algorithm, which will finally convert this XJ back to plain text I, and this I is read by Bob. Now the attacker can see only cipher text. The attacker can read the text XJ, but the attacker doesn't understand what is this. Is it I or EAB or something like that? Okay, so here this process is called as encryption. So encryption means converting plain text to ciphertext. Okay, similarly decryption means the process of converting ciphertext again back to plain text. Okay, now uh, and the subject which deals with encryption and decryption algorithms is called as cryptography. Okay, so in cryptographic algorithms, uh, it so happens that the algorithm also requires a second input called key. Okay, the algorithm, either encryption algorithm or decryption algorithm, also requires a second input called key. So, key is uh, a secret string or secret data which is known only to Alice and Bob. Only Alice and Bob knows about this. I mean, the third party like attacker does not know what is the key. 
okay now if the key being used both by alice and bob is same if it is the same key we call that cryptography as symmetric tree cryptography when the key is same on both sides we say it is symmetric key cryptography if the key is different on sending and receiving side here it is k1 and k2 we say such kind of cryptography as asymmetric key cryptography okay now caesar cipher the program is about caesar cipher right so you can say caesar cipher is a kind of symmetric key cryptography algorithm okay so your caesar cipher comes here in the encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm place it is a symmetric cryptography because we will use the same key okay so caesar cipher is a historic cipher very old one which is used in the primary days uh, and what happens in caesar cipher is it shifts each character in the given string that is the plain text by uh, the given key which is a number okay so the key that we take in caesar cipher is a number so that number tells how many characters you have to shift from the current character and of course this caesar cipher is very easy to break so anyone can easily find what the plain text is by doing some brute force attack uh, that is trying all the possible keys okay now so i am going to take a, take an example and run through this caesar cipher how it works so the plain text i am taking is hello world okay so the input another input is the key here i am assuming the key is 3 okay so the two inputs to the to the caesar cipher is one is plain text and second one is click key now so what does caesar cipher to caesar cipher takes each character and shifts it three places forward so what happens so h is converted to k right because we shift h by 3 after h we j we get i j k right similarly e after e f g h okay l is converted to o second l is also converted to o and o is converted to r and next the space remains the same uh, we don't shift it and w shifts to z and o shifts to r and r shifts to u l shifts to o and d shifts to g so the final cipher text is this for hello world the cipher text that we are going to send through internet is this core drug okay now you need to worry about two conditions or two um, cases in caesar cipher that is uh, one is the key should be always between 0 and 25 including 25 so the key should be always between 0 and 25 okay so if the if anyone gives the key as for example 30 we will do mod 26 so this will give you 4 and we shift each character by four places okay now the second case is for example in the plain text this character is z let's assume instead of w we have given the plain text as z letter z which is the last letter in the alphabet okay now if you shift this z by three places what will you get so after z there is no letter so what we have to do is we have to go again to the starting that is from a so after z a b c so here you will get c okay so you have to take care of these two conditions when our the key is uh, greater than 25 and also uh, whenever the plain text uh, goes beyond z okay 
so these two these two cases or condition should be taken care of in the code the, the program that you are going to write so we will see that in the program how we are going to solve these two conditions or cases okay so that's it for this video thank you